What is up you guys? This is Curtis Russell from the Soul Dojo Gaming Channel and we're back with another 90 second review. Pokemon Sword and Shield is Game Freak's newest entry into the Pokemon series, introducing trainers to the UK inspired Galar region, with new towns, new Pokemon, and new ways to play. However, Game Freak's approach to their first mainline Pokemon game on consoles is very safe and predictable. First I want to give a thumbs up for the overall presentation of Pokemon Sword and Shield. The diversity in terrain, huge towns, and a wild area filled with Pokemon is a welcome addition to the game. Thumbs up for the character customization. Giving players the ability to fully customize their trainer is the feature that I always wanted to get my hands on in Pokemon, and the depth of the customization is very decent too. Thumbs down for the story though, the game suffers from having the same basic outline as previous games and doesn't offer anything new story wise making its debut on a major console. Many of the characters fall into the very cliche as I just want to be the very best attitude along with familiar plot lines makes the story of Pokemon Sword and Shield very uninteresting. While the characters animations are very well done, it would be great to have voice acting added to the game or at least to certain scenes. Thumbs up for the gym battles, the gym battles are basically a new spec on their own with a football match atmosphere, the addition to Dynamax your Pokemon surprisingly is a new feature that I like, and it sets up battles for a grand finish. Thumbs down for the performance of the game, Pokemon Sword and Shield seems at times it can't handle the wild area with frequent frame drops, and the draw distances are not kind to the game either as the game forces characters and Pokemon to pop in as you approach them from far distances. Pokemon Sword and Shield gets a good 8 out of 10 from me. While the game doesn't take any serious risks, making its major RPG debut on Nintendo Switch, I genuinely do like the game. There's enough here for me to enjoy the familiar outline in a new setting, and I believe that's why we come back to Pokemon after playing it for so many years. In the future, I believe Game Freak will push the franchise to innovate, but for now, I'm glad that there's an RPG Pokemon game on a mainline console such as the Nintendo Switch.